Hey, it's Kyle and Zoe, and we're here to talk to you about peer mediation. And this could be from anything, like how you're, how you're chosen or the problems we solve. And this is an interesting intro. Hi, I'm Zoe. So you might be wondering, what is peer mediation anyway? Well, that's what I'm here for. So, let's say you're getting into a fight with your friends. You want it resolved, right? You will come to Mrs. Butterhoff's office and we will help find an agreement to solve your argument. Now, what it means. If you want to be a peer mediator, think. Are you good at being confidential, which, most, which pretty much means keeping secrets? And are you good at helping solve problems peacefully? If so, you might be fit for a peer mediator. When you come to peer mediation, we make sure everyone has a voice and everyone's side is heard. We will try to get on a, you two on an agreement that will support both sides of the story. Never be afraid to go to peer mediation, it will only make things better. We use a step-by-step -step process to resolve bad feelings for each other. Now, we will help you. We will help you solve your problems. These problems could start any place, any time. On the bus, on the playground, anywhere, even in class. So how are peer mediators chosen? We will come to your classroom and you will pick a student who is not popular. You will pick someone who you trust is confidential, loyal, and a good friend. You pick the student and the teachers make sure they are the right choice. Now, so why do you come to peer mediation? Peer mediation can help solve your problems with you and your friends. We use a win-win strategy so that both sides of the conflict are happy. I hope Kyle and I helped you understand more about peer mediation. So now this video is over, think in your head, um, in your mind, a person who you trust, think is loyal, kind, a good friend. Congratulations if you are these peer mediators, and we'll hope to see you soon. By the way, we have cookies.